Hey guys, what's going on? James here, and I know, one, this is in my car. Don't worry, this will be an insanely quick video. Uh, I'm actually going to go eat lunch with my girlfriend, or dinner, or whatever you want to call it. So, I want to qu talk real quick about the Buccaneers' 27-21 to 21 win against the defending Super Bowl champion, Philadelphia Eagles. We won 27 to 21. I have notes that I'm going to be talking about real quick and then I'll be uploading an official review later on tonight. But I just wanted to get this quick video out for you guys just so I could uh, tell you what's going on and whatnot and just give you my initial reactions. You know, my, my knee jerk reaction. So first things first, okay. Ryan Fitzpatrick, four touchdowns, one interception, another just phenomenal game. The first play of the game, he had a 75-yard touchdown to Deshaun Jackson. The revenge game for Deshaun, he played phenomenal in this game. Fitzpatrick looked amazing. Deshaun looked amazing. And that first play really did set the tone for this offense. Picked up right where we left off. We we did exactly what I wanted us to do. We used the momentum from that monumental win last week and took it into this game right away. Our home opener. Just first play, 75-yard touchdown, which looked really, really good. A little bit later on in the game, Quan Alexander would have a forced fumble where uh, the David... Was it Davis? Yeah, Carlton Davis would get a fumble recovery for that. That was a very nice play as well. Our defense was humongously improved in this game. The first half defense looked a whole hell of a lot better than it did against the New Orleans Saints. Specifically our run defense. I thought that Vinnie Curry looked really good. Jason Pierre-Paul for the limited snaps that we played him. I thought he looked very good. Carl Nassib, shout out to Carl Nassib. I thought he played a very, very good game. Um, we were able to contain this Eagles offense that I know didn't have a whole lot of weapons. They were without Alshon Jeffrey. And they had um, uh, Nick Foles in there at quarterback and then even Jay Ajayi left at some point early on in the game due to an injury but still we were able to stop them early on in the game they really missed Darren Sproles one thing I thought they were working with Corey Clement a whole lot at running back um, and you know just we did a whole lot better in this game at defense which I could really appreciate I thought that was a phenomenal thing so shout out to Mike Smith and shout out to the the Bucks defense for just having a very much improved game that just goes to show that this this team can have a good defensive uh, outing whenever they're not going up against a Hall of Fame quarterback and a top five offense from last year so that was a very good thing to see the offensive line looked all right um, at some points there was a, certainly a lot more pressure this week than last week against Ryan Fitzpatrick granted you're going up against arguably the best defense in the NFL I'd probably might even call it the best defense in the NFL but still Fitzpatrick was able to get the ball out quickly the offensive line did a pretty decent job I will say Caleb Beninock didn't uh he had a couple of bad plays but he was going up against Fletcher Cox for the most part so you know that is what it is it was still wonderful uh, I thought they did a decent job our running game was a little bit concerning throughout the entirety of the game considering how um, you know, just it's just how good that Eagles defensive line is. They just looked really good. Um, so I didn't expect us to have a great running game. But, you know, still, it was a little bit disappointing to see how um, not good they were doing, which that was pretty unfortunate. Uh, the Eagles really killed themselves with penalties in this game. Just, just absolutely killed themselves with penalties. There was one time when they, I think, had like five offensive penalties and they had like a third and 40 and it was hilarious. And I was like, oh, thank God it's not us that's happening, that this is happening to this time, you know? So the Eagles were killing themselves with penalties, which was pretty hilarious in my opinion. OJ Howard had a nice touchdown. Chris Godwin had a nice touchdown. d looked phenomenal. Mike Evans had a couple of bad plays. He had a, a drop and he had a fumble. But aside from that, even he looked pretty decent. Um, you know, Ryan Smith, I, I will say this. At the last play of the game, Ryan Smith had a basically a, a, um, a phenomenal punt coverage tackle. You know, it was I think it was like 30-some seconds left. The guy was going to return it, and Ryan Smith got him right away. So that was phenomenal to see. Shout out to Ryan Smith. Um, run defense looked really good. We were able to stop Jay Ajayi, and even when Jay Ajayi was out, we, we were able to stop uh, Cl Corey Clement for the most part, so that was pretty encouraging to see. Uh, Nick Foles was solid, I would say. He was pretty accurate, but he didn't exactly have that big play ability like what Ryan Fitzpatrick was doing um, early on in the game. And then later on, he had just this beautiful touch pass to Nelson Aguilar, I believe, which was phenomenal to see. That was, that was, a, great, that was a great, great play by Nick Foles to Nelson Aguilar. So shout out to him. Um, the Bucks run game, again, it's a little concerning, but I will say that they played two pretty decent run defenses uh, these past two weeks, and I don't think things are honestly going to get very much easier against the Pittsburgh Steelers. 
but yeah, you know, that was all good. And the, the big thing I liked from Fitzpatrick in this game was when he wasn't hitting on the deep ball, he was able to hit on the short and intermediate passes, and it just, it all looked good. Fitzpatrick looked really good. The one interception he had technically wasn't his fault. It went right out of O.J. Howard's hands and right into an Eagles defender's hands. So I'd, I'd put that more on O.J. Howard than Ryan Fitzpatrick. But again, the offense looked good in pretty much every aspect except for, you know, the running game. And then on the defensive side of the ball, huge improvement. You know, we cut the point total in half um, from last week. That's great. You know, that shows that Mike Smith's defense can work um and the players were able to execute it and it just looked a whole hell of a lot better than it did last week i was very happy to see that so shout out to mike smith you know improvement i'm, I'm still not fully sold on mike smith but still hey whatever the defense improved we gotta win we won against the defending super bowl champions okay let me take you guys through the past two weeks okay week one we defeated a team that was one play away from going to the nfc championship game and, you know, they were they were one bad, you know, stupid mistake away from going to the NFC Championship game. Top five offense last year, middle of the pack defense um, last year, you know, and we, we beat them in their home stadium. And then the next week, we defeated the defending Super Bowl champions who are supposed to have one of the best defenses in the league, arguably the best defense in the league. We dropped 27 on them. Ryan Fitzpatrick was hyper efficient. Um, and we, we were able to defeat the defending Super Bowl champions without our starting quarterback. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, I said on Twitter that these Bucks look like a playoff team, and I they do. They look like a playoff team. They're beating playoff teams. That's something the Bucks haven't haven't done anything in a long. You know, they haven't they haven't beaten playoff teams consistently in a while. And the last time the Bucks started two and zero, I believe, was in two thousand ten when Raheem Morris was the head coach. So you know, um, it's great. It's great. We're two and zero. We defeated the defending Super Bowl champions. Suck it, Eagles fans. You know, whatever. We beat you. Boom. We won the backup quarterback battle. What up? You know, this is phenomenal. I, I can't wait to see where this team goes this season. We're off to such an electric start. Just we have to keep on going now. Keep on taking that momentum that we have. Keep on using it to win these ne this next game against the Steelers. Imagine if we're three and up. Nobody thought we were gonna. I thought we were gonna be one and two. Nobody thought we were gonna be two and up. Not a, barely anybody. You know, I'm sure there was some some of you guys. And for those of you who said we were gonna be two and up, shout out to you guys. You guys are the real real MVPs. Um. I'm going to be making a video, video probably either today or tomorrow about Buccaneers quarterback controversy, and I'll talk about all of that, and I'd love to talk with you guys more about that later on, but I'll have an official review coming out later on today. Should be a lot of fun, but uh, yeah, guys, we're 2-0. and Oh my God, we're 2-0, and and we arguably look like one of the best teams in the league right now. Like, arguably. Like, no jokes. No memeing. No memeing. We look like one of the best teams in the league right now. Hands down. We just beat two of the top teams in the NFC, and the NFC is way better than the AFC. The Bucks look legit, guys. So let me know what you guys think about this win down in the comment section below. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and as always, I will see you in the next one, but until then, and as always, goodbye for now, and go Bucks. That, insane, okay? Insane.